To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user setting or make sure the mouse preset is on three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change the settings, please watch our UI video first. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to simulate the garment to a post character and adding sets as colliders. First, we need to prepare the avatar and animate it to transition from T-Pose. You can use any 3D software of your choice. Here, I'm using Autodex Maya. I have a character already posed. Because we want a decent amount of time to pre-roll for the simulations, I will create a keyframe on frame 50. I will then go to frame 1, zero out all the transition and rotations, and create another keyframe. As you can see from the pose we created, there are many intersections in the mesh. The leg is inside the stomach, and the arm is intersecting with the torso. This will create collision issues when simulating the claws. They'll use blend shapes to fix the intersections. I have sculpted another mesh in ZBrush to blend to. Select the new mesh and shape select the original. Then go to the menu bar, select Mesh, Blend Shape. I have changed the origin to local, but it does not matter in this case. Click on the blend shape input in the channel box. Create keyframes to make the transition. For the set pieces, if the poly count is too low, it might create some collision problems. So I will subdivide it once. Remeshing it to triangle will also help with collision. Next, we'll export it. In Marvelous Designer, we support FBX, Olympic, Maya Cache, MDB Cache, and Point Cache 2. Here, I'm exporting it as an Olympic Cache. For the set pieces, I will export it as OBJ. I have the base avatar without animation into Marvelous Designer with the clothes already on the avatar. I will now prepare the garments for animation. Having a low particle distance creates realistic wrinkles but slows down the simulation. We will increase the particle distance. For the outer layer, set the particle distance to 10. Increase particle distance to 15 for inner layers that are not as visible. Set the particle distance to 5 for parts that require a higher level expression of wrinkles. For this specific garment, the dress waist has elastic to hold it in place. To help the dress stay at the waist, I'm going to sew it to the t-shirt. I will create internal lines at the height where the dress meets the t-shirt. Use free sewing tool to sew the bottom of the belt to the internal lines. Since the skirt is overlapped to account for the buttons, I'm using edit sewing tool to adjust the sewing lines for the overlap. I will also temporarily turn off elastic. Select the jacket and press Shift Q to unhide it. Buttons in Marvelous Designer are geometries. They are heavier to simulate and may cause some collision issues during simulation. To speed up the simulation, we'll convert all the buttons to buttonholes. And we will use the free sewing tool to attach the patterns.
In Marvel's Designer 11, we have moved the animation editor to the bottom of the window. To access it, click the up arrow. I will delete the static avatar and replace it with the animated Olympic cache exported from Maya. After importing, the animation appears in the timeline and each geometry has its own layer. The animation we created in Maya is 24 frames per second, so I will set the frame rate to 24. To create a smooth, more accurate simulation, we want more frames for the simulation to run. Scene time warp will adjust speed of animation frames. In this case, I have increased the scene time warp to 5. Next, press simulation button, then press record. A new track is created and the simulation is recording. Since we know the character is sitting on a plank, we'll put the dress up and temporarily paint it in space. Select everything by the skirt and freeze it. The short key for freeze is Ctrl K. Next, import add the set pieces. Make sure the load type is add and the object type is avatar. The default unit in Maya is centimeter, so I'm changing the scale here to match it. Release all the panes by hitting Ctrl W on the keyboard and simulate. Next, we'll fix the intersection between the set and the jacket. Freeze the part of the jacket that is not intersecting. Press Ctrl K to freeze the selected garment. Use Select Mesh Brush and paint on the areas that are not intersecting. Right click and select Freeze. Partial Freeze tool will freeze the painted areas. We want to protect the top parts and only the intersecting areas need to be simulated. Use the Select Mesh Box or Lasso tool to select the intersecting parts and pull it out. Start the simulation and use the Select Move tool to adjust the cloth to the desired look. I'm done with fixing the intersections with the set. I will move on to other areas. The cloth inside the armpit is intersecting with the avatar. It is because the skin offset is a bit high. We need to decrease the skin offset to make some space. Skin offset is a property on the avatar. The default shortcut for hide and unhide avatar is Shift A. Select the avatar and go to the property editor. Decrease the skin offset to 2.
Lastly, use the Move Select tool to adjust the claws into the desired look. Using Paint tool to paint the claws in space will help with shaping. The short key for Paint tool is W. Hold W and click to create the paint. Hold W and click on the existing paint to delete it. Here I'm adjusting the color so it will lay correctly. I'm done with the collar adjustment and moving on to the skirt. Delete the internal lines on the t-shirt and add the elastic back to the belt of the dress. Select the top and bottom segment lines. I'm replying the elastic value from earlier. Select the buttonholes, right-click, and convert it back to buttons. Fasten the buttons, delete the sewing lines, then simulate. The sewing lines were just there temporarily to hold it in place. I'm done with making adjustments, and will move the particle distance down to the final state. Select all the patterns, and set the particle distance to 5 to create a higher resolution and more accurate look. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below, and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on Marvelous Designer, check out our website, form, and official Discord channel in the link below.